Hey, 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 what's this level called? Um, uh, it's not the sewer pit. Please. It's the, um, the, the, gr the grinder, the grinder. The grinder. Uh, yeah, this is... We've made a couple runs through this, haven't we? We're, we're coming back after not having played for a couple days. Yeah. Um, we're also using a different version of Doom that Rod had called, uh... It's, uh, GZ Doom. Okay. And yeah, this one a lot- God! Oh, some bitch! No, you know what? This is okay, because, um... Hold on. We didn't save, did we? No, I, I saved. Oh. But... Uh, I don't know. I just really wish I had more health to start with. Yeah. So I gotta be really careful. Uh, I probably shouldn't have, uh, fisticuffed people there's earlier. A... Yeah, there's a yeah, health pack. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, this is yeah, this is the one we were talking about. How on the higher uh, difficulties you have to fight a spider mastermind. Oh yeah. But you can grind it in that like compressor thingy. But uh, on this one, it's just a whole bunch of uh, hell knights, which is cool. Hell yeah. By the way, I don't know how pe how other people feel about this, but I absolutely loved the um, the hell knight in Doom Three. Have you seen uh, I am not familiar. Um, Doom 3 is on the playlist for Plenty of Radio. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that sometime yeah. soon. But, uh, yeah, the Hell Knight just looks fucking wicked. Um, oh yeah, I got... I have a jump ability now, and I have a, I have permanent sprints on, which is good. Damn it! But hey, look, I can jump over that. Woo! Yeah, remember how we were having, like, getting fucked over because of that? God, we had so much trouble with that. Yeah, dude. Now we don't have to worry about it. And we can look, we can look up! Can oh look my everywhere. god. Everywhere. This is amazing. Basically, what this does is it makes it so it's like games that we play. Like, okay, so. It it's modernizes modern, yeah. the game. It gives it modern controls, really. Yeah, and that is essential to a, to Doom. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I don't. I really don't get how they played it back in the day. I missed the platform in the last level, by the way. But, oh um, shit, you did. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't understand how people play this, like, not even with a mouse, just, like, with full keyboard control. Because they did that. Hey, look, I can... There it is! Hell yeah! I mean... It makes the silliest noise. We could probably ask my dad, because he, he played a hell of a lot of Doom. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yep, first first-person shooter I played was Doom. Same here. Yeah. It's the oh. original Doom. This is actually Doom 2, if you are familiar or aware, although I think we have it in the title. Uh, oh, we'll have it in the title. Yeah, we'll definitely have it in the title. <laughs> God, what if I just fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's on now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, the switch. I gotta press that switch. I gotta run here. I gotta jump. And... Fuck! Oh, God, they give you no time to do that. By the way, you should die. Not you, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh... Man, so let's get that poor lighting. Sorry to interrupt. It looks no, it's, it's it looks better than the other one we were playing yeah. for some reason. I don't know what it is about it, but it just it looks good. It looks real good. God, I I need a partner, man. I don't know where to find that. Um yeah, it's again, just uh me and Brady here tonight. Yep. Tom is at uh a Chiodo's show, which I think we did a little bit on uh at God Ow. Stop oh. shooting. She's Brady. Brad Brady. Bastard! What's up? They're shooting at me. Oh, kill him. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, just like I did. Look at all these bodies. <laughs> what that? And yeah. the bodies littered the floor. Yeah, Tom's at, uh, Tom's at the Chiodo show uh, mm -hmm. with Jake. Yep. Jake Griffin. Him and Jake. Yep. Yeah, they were... Oh no, yeah, I definitely published the Chiodos thing by now. Actually, it's already up at the time that we're recording this. Um, I've actually never heard their music, though, have you? Um, I've heard of them, but I haven't really listened to them. Hmm. Uh, there was a girl that I really liked in high school, really the Chiodos. Oh, so they've been around for a while? Yeah, yeah, they've been around for a long time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, she was released and that was basically all I heard about that. Mm. Yeah, it's... 
I imagine it's like the kind of music that Tom usually listens to, which isn't really my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. um, like the hardcore scene, kind of. Yeah. yeah. See, I really only like Sunny and Cher, so it's really hard to like get that from the hardcore scene. Yeah. Well, it might be like a hardcore Sunny and Cher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, fuck. these guys. Yeah, remember these guys? Yeah, Jesus. It's terrifying. It's undead Sunny and Cher. It is. Oh, oh wait. God. Cher is undead Sunny and Cher. <laughs> Just uh, kidding, that woman looks fabulous. Cher? She's 70 something, yeah. Or she's 60 something. I don't know, man. I mean, Cher, I, I guess for being that age, yeah, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, like. I never thought Cher really looked that great. It's fair. Uh, you know who does look great for her age? Who? Michelle Yeoh. Yes. Yes, oh, she does. sweet... Dude, I had a, uh... I don't know, I had a little dream about her the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. I, like, never have sexual dreams. But this time I did, and it was... Michelle Yeoh. Not anybody I know, just her. Huh? Yeah, it was... Strange. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But also, she's a great actress. She is. She's a splendid actress. But yeah, she's also pretty much. Oh wow! Hey, look at that guy. Oh man, it looks like a uh, a Draenei from uh, World of Warcraft. A what? Draenei. Uh, they are the. Um, oh hey, look, they're blue space each other. vixens. Oh, I don't. know. Yeah, I don't know the first thing about World of Warcraft. Okay, we'll have to do a couple picture. Uh, I'm sure everybody else knows. Oh shit! He was killing everybody! Yeah, he was. That, uh, like, the other two had, like, attacked him on accident. You can exploit that in this game every now and then. Yeah. I was gonna say, we awesome. tried to get him to do that, uh, last time we played. Oh yeah, we did. Unsuccessfully. Oh man, this is, uh, this is an intense one. This reminds me of, uh, Half-Life, when you're in the reactor. Uh, I, no, I never played Half-Life, remember? Oh! I've played Half-Life 2. Well, Half-Life 2's. Yeah. Although, I'm sure somebody will disagree with me on that. Um, if you do disagree with me, let me know. Because I'd Email love to argue at with you. at www.brady. Uh, Half-Life. Yeah! <laughs> what a... <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. I've heard wonderful things about uh about Half Life, and oh, I shit. absolutely love Half Life Two. So whatever, maybe when Black Mesa comes out, we'll see. Cause yeah, I think the graphic the graphics factor would be the limiter for me. Um, I played Half Life maybe uh maybe a year or no 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 it was two years ago because I was uh was a sophomore at that year. Um, so I played through it and it was like. The, like, the graphics were obviously pretty terrible, but, yeah. like, at that point, the graphics for Half-Life 2 were pretty terrible, too. Yeah. Um, well, it might uh, be terrible they've, enough. They've held up. Yeah, they absolutely have. Like, the Source engine, I thought that they were going to have to rewrite it, but I really don't think they will. I think they'll just have to update it. Yeah, doesn't Counter-Strike Ghost still run on Source? Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, Gary's mod runs on Source. And Gary's mod, like, with all the, um, with all the community development on it. It's uh -huh. beautiful. Um, I think that we should make a small video showing the Attack on Titan. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, Whoops, no, no, I don't want to quick look. Oh god! <laughs> oh, that, was, oh, that god. was almost bad, that was almost bad. But it wasn't. We're okay, we're okay. No, oh god, no, I can't get the mic to stay. There we go. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, I'm saying we should make a, uh, a small, like, Hey, look at this video for that Attack on Titan mod that I found. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, tell, tell them about that. Okay, so, uh... By the this... way, do you want to do the next one? Oh, no, go ahead. Okay. Um, We're also starting with ridiculously low health again. Oh, that's fine. Oh. oh. Plot. Plot's happening, so I will wait. Uh, Monsters have pro Should I read this in, like, a wizard voice? It, sure, if you okay. want. You have entered deeply into the infested star port. But something is wrong. The monsters have brought their own reality with them, and the starport's technology is being subverted by their presence. Ahead, you see an outpost of hell, 
a fortified zone. If you can get past it, you can penetrate into the haunted heart of the starbase and find the controlling switch which holds Earth's population hostage. There you go. Nice. You, you got a little Sean Connery-esque for a little bit. I did. Where does the universe hide? <laughs> you must save the universe. <laughs> dead si oh, dead oh, simple. Oh, shit. I know this level. Okay, we're gonna have to fucking save. But we're gonna make a separate save in case we have to go back to the last level Yay! and get more health. Ding, ding, Wait. Ding, 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 ding. They should have had Slayer make the uh, soundtrack to this game. Oh, shit, too. It would have been great. Okay, here we go. Okay. I think I was telling you about this level. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yep! Here we go. Invisibility. Okay, good. I'm good, I'm good. I gotta get some health. I gotta... Here we go, Berserker. Oh, Holy Jesus God. fucking Christ. Lord. Yep. Oh my gosh. Get him! Get him! Get these badass. These guys are terrifying, dude. Like, I don't know if you're getting a good look at them. I'm, I'm not. But they look like kind of like nemesis from. Uh... Oh. That happened. Come on. Oh, so there's this Attack on Titan mod in Gary's mod. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, where you get to play as the, uh, what is it, the Survey Corps against Recon Corps. The... Yeah, against the Titan. So, I think, I think we'll make a video about it. At some point, we'll let, I would love to. Let you guys see it. It's pretty cool. I I enjoyed a lot playing it. So, yeah. What's that? Is that it? Yeah. That's that's the entire pitch. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess we'll pitch more later. Yeah. When we actually play it, because it does look really good. Yeah. And like um, like as I said, playing a lot of Gary's mods. I'm just really impressed with the community and like. How much time and work they put into it? Mm -hmm. Because like, it's like the free space community, but I don't know even more in my opinion. Like, the free space community has definitely put massive amounts of work into the game. But yeah. Gary's mod just drowned. Like, I don't know. I think it's the quintessential like fan like, fan game. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, when Gary made it, I mean. You know, he didn't work at all. I don't. I, I'm not sure that he does now. I didn't know that. It, it was just made by some random, yeah. random dude. Gary's mod itself started out as a mod for uh, Half Life 2 or Half Life. I think. Huh. Oh God, what are these electron spiders? Arachnatron. They're also unpleasant. I don't like them. Yeah, dude. They. They're fucking me a bit. They look. Not unlike the types from Zelda. Quick I also didn't play a lot of Zelda, so I don't remember I have uh, Well, I played Link to the Past, I didn't really like it. Oh okay. I played a little Ocarina and didn't like it, and I have Twilight Princess and that was pretty fun. I hear Wind Ring great. Oh uh, yeah. And I watched my best friend play it back in the day and it, it looked good. It definitely looked good. Yeah, Wind Waker is a cool looking game. I actually have it's It'd be one of, I think it's the only Zelda game I haven't played, and I've heard that that is a, just a crime. Yeah, it got, like, really bad, uh, a really bad reception initially, Yeah. I heard. But then, I don't know, people started to like it. Oh god, oh, why, Lord. why? Damn it. Rat bastard. Okay. One more time. Donald looking dumb bitch. Yeah, that's freaky. He's, uh, he's just a scaled up version of the Spider Mastermind. I mean, scaled down version. Of yeah. Let's see if we can't. What's, what's nice about the chain gun is that it interrupts their attacks. That's right. Yeah, so look at that. He can't... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh lord! Another one. Ouch! Fuck! What's the vagina block in the middle there? The vagina block? Yeah. Um. I don't remember. I know it does something. Huh. Oh. God. Oh shit! Thank you. Say what? Thank you. I have invisibility on this. Shouldn't be able to. Oh, I forgot to get the uh, the crazy sphere. I don't really know what to call it, but um, okay. Uh, no. So, okay. So Gary's mod was just no wait. We, we already went through that, right? What are we talking about? I don't know. Mm. Uh, 
uh, recent news. <laughs> recent news. What, what, what's, what's in the news lately? Uh, I guess relations have broken down with Russia, somewhat. Oh, they have? Yeah, NASA's not, um, NASA's not sending astronauts to space, uh, via Russia anymore. Yeah. Um, I think it's only to get to and from the, uh, ISS. But even that, I think they said that they're going to stop doing that eventually, uh -huh. but that they are going to keep working together in the ISS, because the ISS is like an international project. Yeah. And they still want to, you know, they're still pretty chummy. Yeah. As far as that goes. And I would, I would say that that kind of goes over. God, stop, stop, not, God, why? Fuck. Why? Yeah, you definitely do. Where are they? They are, dude. They're I'm so glad I'm not playing this. Yeah, this is <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. But yeah, I guess Putin's just being, just like fucking, just being that kid on the playground. Just like, what, what? Do something. Do something, little bitch. Do something. Do something. Mm. To like everybody. So, uh, that's that. That's a shame. Yeah. Um, IU may or may not have won a sport. I don't really know about IU sports, too. They had some sort of outcome in the game of football. Oh, okay. Good for them. <laughs> the, yeah, there it is! Actually, oh, fuck, there it is! Oh, I got, like, charged to max. I also got a text. I should probably have turned my phone off. <laughs> so the uh, the big thing happening at IU in the coming week is the Little Five Hundred. You don't know what the Little Five Hundred is. Yeah. Um, it is basically a race that I destroyed my knee training for. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's basically the Indianapolis Five Hundred with bicycles, and I would say like even more vicious. Oh yeah, dude. What I understand. It's a riot to watch. It yeah. is an absolute riot. Um, God, stop, 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 stop. Uh, kind of, um, if you, if anyone watching this has seen the movie Breaking Away, yeah. Uh, the little, the the bike race at the end of that, that actually exists. That is the little five hundred. Yeah, that's a real thing, and it happens in our in our city every year around this time. Yep, and uh, famous bands show up. People get drunk. Fucking like people just get wasted for a little. Yeah. Even I get wasted. <laughs> the, like I know this for a fact. The, uh, God the damn it! God. Oh. <laughs> the police department makes a shit ton of money mm -hmm. on Little Five Weekend. Um. It's kind of like their Black Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah, from all the drinking tickets and yeah. whatnot. Yep. The public get tax tickets. Oh yeah, dude. It's. It's actually really great, in my opinion. Yeah. Because if the the city does become a complete mess on Little Five Week. Yeah. Uh, it's it's to the point where teachers will not will like make set up assignments so that you turn them in before Little Five Week. At least most will, because they know that no one's gonna be in class Little Five Week. Yep. Um, while I was at IU, I had. I had two classes uh, the Friday of Little Five Weekend. I was the only person showed up that day. And just like, well, you get next. And I'm like, alright. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a, a special extra credit assignment that nobody else got nice. for the first one. And then, like, uh, an opportunity for extra credit on the second one. I took, so. Sweet, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really become more about the party than the actual race. Yeah. But the race is still really fucking cool. Like, I don't know, I like watching it. People crash, um, there's a lot of strategy involved, because it's just around an old, an old track made of cinders. So it's kind of like old-timey car racing, and it's teams yeah. of four people, and, uh, we've been... You know what, we've been going for 19 minutes now, so... Oh shit! Yeah, so you know what, let's just blend into the next episode. Uh, we won't have a cutoff, I guess. Yeah, works so for me. Whatever. We'll, we'll go to the 30 mark. Cool. Um, yeah, so there's teams of four, and they have to 
you do a minimum amount of rider exchanges, but you only get two bikes for each team. Right. So uh, the exchanges are done like rolling, and it's it's really amazing to watch how they'll come in doing like 20 miles an hour on one side of the bike, jump off, hand it to the other guy, and like this all happens in a quarter of a second. Yeah. And sometimes they'll crash, and sometimes it's really big crashes and people get hurt and there's like huge pileups and it's like awesome. <laughs> it's like the it's it's like blood sport. Man. It's great. Oh totally. Um and like as far as I know I don't think anybody's ever died in World Five. Like I mean it's not no, from like crash landing or something. Oh anything I've picked up there is a maybe a heart explosion somewhere. But... Yeah, it might have been a heart attack. Yeah. Oh. Was that it? I killed everybody. <sighs> Thank God. You slaughtered the entire spider race. Or Thank Arachnobot. Arachnotron. Thank God. Cause that was not fun at all. Whoa. Yep. That was an eye. Oh, it was an eye? It wasn't yeah. a vagina? Nope. Hmm. Tricks and tr- Oh, this is an interesting level. Alright, let's save. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to shit. Alright. Excellent. Oh, hey, check it out. Monster infighting. So, let's just uh, sit and have a chat for a while. Alrighty. Um, so, a little fighting going on. What else? Um, hmm. Little Bub's probably doing something. Yeah. I saw Little Bub on a uh, ASPCA advertisement on YouTube, I think. Really? Yeah. And Little Bub's the cutest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, you know, if, like animals like that always make me wonder. What's that? Like, I don't know. Have you noticed how, like, if you see like a person that's got like some kind of deformity, it's just really, it's like unpleasant to see. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not saying like. Oh shit! That's all right. I'm invincible now. Um. You know, I'm not saying it's like I don't like people performing. It's just like it's a natural human reaction to right. kind of cringe a little bit when you see like you know, a person with like a missing arm or like a messed up body or something. Yeah. Uh, I I think it's like an evolutionary thing or something. I don't know. But um, but when I see an animal like a three-legged dog or something like that, or a cat with a wonky face, I'm it's just adorable. To me. <laughs> it's really I, endearing. Yeah, I don't know why it works that way with animals, but not with humans. And even with babies, even with human babies, like I see messed up babies, and it's it's unpleasant. Yeah. But not nah, little baby animals, man. Little baby animals. I don't know. I, I'm sure it is an evolutionary thing. Cause like we don't like to see things that are unhealthy, or like. Maybe we don't want to do our, or like see something that could be us that's unhealthy. Yeah, I definitely have to re like do some research into that. I'm sure there has been research done as to why that happens. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's strange. I really don't get why it happens with a. Uh... Oh, we can have some fun here. Bamba, 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 bamba. The only bad thing about the monster infighting is that you can't do it with uh, monsters of the same kind. Oh, really? Yeah, so imps won't hurt, like, monsters can't uh, hurt monsters of the same kind. Imps can't hurt imps, shotgunners can't hurt shotgunners, and so on. Gotcha. So that, like, that would have been a great opportunity to just let them kill each other. But it didn't happen. Yeah. Um, what else is going on in Bloomington? Uh, I'm going out tomorrow. Cool. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, I think I'm just going drinking. Right on. Yeah. It's one of my friend's birthday, and, uh... Oh, hey, happy birthday to whoever. Yeah, happy birthday, Logan. Um... Love you. There you go. Yeah. Um... I don't know what's going to happen. That's going to be fun. You're going to get buck wild. You're going to pick yeah. up some girls. Yeah. Right on, dude. Uh, oh. I got a new car. So there's that. Shit. Rod did get a new car. Yeah. And a new motorcycle. 
Yeah, I currently have four vehicles right now. That's false. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, and it costs next to nothing to add that car to my uh, current insurance, which is pretty sweet. That is pretty awesome. So until I, because uh, I was gonna just like have my other car uninsured until I sold it, mm -hmm. but it's like so cheap to just have them both on there that I was like, fuck it, why not? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I currently have my old uh, Toyota MR2. Yeah, old 93 model, and a 2000 Honda Civic, little cutie. And the, I feel like there's monsters that are supposed to come out from there they are! There they are, oh dear. Oh god damn, god. it's those floaty yeah. fucking fireballs fit the sun fishes. Oh, freaky. Um, and, I don't know, there's, I, I saw some kid, uh, I like met some kid who lives down the street who wants to buy my moped. Nice! Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about selling it to like a 16-year-old kid, but I mean, it's his mom buying it for him, so yeah, she's okay with it, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Now, is your moped like a? Um, I mean, that's. I've I've seen it before, but I don't know what like what brand it is. Oh, it's a Tomos Targa LX, and uh, don't tell the police, but it's actually not 50 cc's anymore. I put a 70 cc cylinder on it. Although you can't tell from the outside, oh. and I uh, I got a bigger carb for it, and I did a few other upgrades to it. Gotcha. It will max out at around 50, Holy shit. and it holds 45 no problem. Um, it has it has like a top end pipe, uh, exhaust pipe because yeah. two strokes are really sensitive to the kind of exhaust you use. Um, but yeah, it's very fast. And I have a friend who has one that's set up for acceleration. It'll like yank you back pretty hard. Whoa. Yeah, they're they're fun little things. But um you know. Motor it's still not a motorcycle. Yeah. I uh saw that um one of my friends is selling her motorcycle on Facebook for nice. like eighteen hundred. It's like a Suzuki I think. Suzuki? I'll show yeah, I'll show what? it to you. Um, <clears throat> but it's like, if I had a motorcycle like I'd buy that thing in a heartbeat. Because I don't have a car right now. You can just buy it anyway. Like, get a motorcycle permit. They're like, uh, I think nine bucks at the DMV. Nine? Or DMV. Uh, I paid, yeah, they're nine dollars. Gotcha. Uh, but you can't ride at night until you actually take your learner's mm. exam. Uh, let me go from here. Oh, hey, look. Um, save it for the next episode? Yeah, let's save it for the next episode. Alright. See you in a bit. Later, guys.